we're going to move urgent priorities, urgent rows, to the top. So we're going to create an automation where if we change the priority in column C to the word urgent, we have a little drop-down menu here, we're going to move that to the top of the sheet. Now, you could do this manually, of course, by sorting every time you do this. You could literally take the row, click it, and drag it up here. Totally fine, but we want to do this automatically. We want every time we edit to see, are we on column C? Did we change it to urgent? And if we did, in insert a row in the second row, then move the contents up there, and then delete with the row that exists. So we're going to go to extensions, app script, and write this, and it's not as difficult as you imagine. First thing we're going to do is change our function to on edit. This is a built-in function, we just have to write it, that allows us to get an event, or E. We can say event, or E. This is a sort of information based on what are we editing. And we can say variable sheet equals e uh, spreadsheet app dot get active sheet get name we know the name of the sheet we're on we can get the range so we know what row we're on equals so variable row equals e dot range dot get row we know what column we're on variable call equals e dot range dot get column and if call is equal to three meaning we're in the third column double ampersand to say and row is greater than one meaning we're not on the header row and we know also the value that we're editing here variable value equals e dot value so if we say value is equal to urgent and then one last thing double ampersand sheet is equal to sheet one because on our sheet this is the name of the sheet, sheet one. If we're on a different sheet, maybe we have some other databases or different tables here. We want to make sure we're on sheet one. And if all of that is true, then we are going to move the row to the top. And that takes a few steps. One, we'll insert a row at the top before two. And then we will move, uh, copy the data to that row. And then we will delete the existing row wherever we're coming from so let's do all of that let's insert a row at the top so we're going to spreadsheet app dot get active sheet insert row before now if we did after one what would happen is that it would go to one and insert a row below and you see the style and the formatting is inherited from where we are in the first row we don't want to do that. So we actually want to go to the second row and insert above. And now we have a fresh row to copy the data to. So let's go get that data. We'll do variable data equals, and we can put this active sheet as a variable active equals get active sheet. We can change this to active, active dot get range. We're on a certain row. We're in the first column and we want to go only one row deep but we want to get all of the columns. Columns equals active.get max columns. So go all the way to the end, get all of the columns, get values. Get all of those values, and we are going to go to sheet, actually active, sorry, then get range, two, which is the second row, one, one, and we want as much, the same amount of columns set values and in bracket data. Let's see if that works. And then we're going to delete the row. We're not going to delete the row in our first test. I want to test this out. So we'll save it and go to our sheet. We have a row here uh, just as a buffer. Let's go urgent. You see the insert is happening and then the copying is not happening. Let's go and double check our executions and see if we have a failure. And let's read that. Number of columns does not match the number of columns in the range. Data has one, but the range has five. So this is line 16 of our code. Let's double check what we're doing here. Columns, max columns. Maybe we need get last column. Let's try this again. We could put the number here. We know there's five columns here. So let's just do five here and get rid of this particular variable and see if that works. Uh, we have to put bracket zero at the end here. Probably there are multiple things. We just want the first one of this. We are working now. So let's delete some of these rows. And now we have this fixed login issue. This one is copied, but we want to go back and delete the existing row. So we go active, delete row. And the row we want to delete now 
is at the row, but plus one. So this row variable will be whatever row we edited, but once we insert another row, it's one more. So let's save that. Let's go back and actually just delete this fixed login issue row. So now we're seeing social media plan. Let's click that, urgent, and looks like it took the wrong row. Let's try an email marketing setup. Is on row 10, switch to urgent, and it took the one above it. So I think what we need to do is go back to this row. We've already inserted one, so maybe we insert it after we get the values. Let's try that. And now, let's delete this row, and now we're looking at database optimization. Switch to urgent, and we do get database optimization, and we do delete it there. So we just needed an order of operations different here. Just get those values before we insert that row, because that row was wrong after we inserted it. Cool. And we're copying it correctly and deleting that row correctly. That's how you move urgent to the top without having to do sort, without having to do this manually every single time. This is internal audit. It's gone here, and there's internal audit at the top. Cool. Just by changing the status or the priority or any text, actually. You don't even need a drop-down menu. Just change the text here. Hope you enjoyed that. And also, make sure you subscribe to Better Sheets here on YouTube.